So I've been thinking, how would you go about making a 3D scan of an Apple? I've tried a lot of different iPhone scanning apps and desktop apps too, and the thing that tends to be the hardest is scanning organic, shiny shapes on a turntable. It's just really difficult. Things like a tree trunk scan and print a lot better. So I wanted to try using Metashape to scan an Apple. Here's the apple that I used, and the first step is to pick a charismatic one. This one has red and green splotches, and has a lot of identifying features that'll make it easier to scan. To scan this apple, I'm using a technique that Eric Christensen calls scanning into the void, where we're trying to create a very dark background and platform for our object so we can wind up with a photo that's completely featureless other than our model. I'm using a few pieces of matte black foam core, including one piece cut out to go on top of the turntable. My light setup isn't ideal, so you can still see a few bright spots on the apple, but generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with the way this photo set came out. The background is dark and featureless, and really the only thing in focus is the apple. I took two photo sets, one of the apple sitting upright, and one of the apple lying on its side, so I can merge them together. Before we can get to the fun part and start making a mesh, the first thing we have to do is align all of our photos, and the best way to do that is to make sure we're working with a really clean data set. So in order to get a really, really clean data set, we want to go through our photos and make sure the background is completely masked out. This lets Metashape concentrate on aligning the points on the apple itself and not trying to sync it up to the background, which can confuse the program and lead to cameras that are incorrectly aligned. This is definitely the longest part of the process, so try not to get discouraged. It can be a little bit tricky at first. Um, again, I'm still kind of learning about this, so the process that I've found to work the best is to go through like you're actually going to make a model and align the photos, build a dense cloud, and then build a mesh. And from there, I'm actually creating a mask from that mesh. And that lets me completely get rid of all the alignment points in the background and just focus on the actual apple itself. So you can kind of see here what I've done is now I've lined up all those photos in a concentric ring. So we do have a pretty good visual representation of that side of the apple. Once that's finished, I can go on to the second view and now I'm looking at the apple on its side and it's kind of the same process. We're just gonna go through and build a model, build the masks, and then we want to align these two chunks. And that gives us our merged chunks. So now we have all of these alignment points are merged together. And at this point from here, you can kind of see right off the bat, if you just look at the tie points, this is going to be a pretty good looking model. It's got pretty even coverage and, you know, the lighting's not really great, but in general, I'd say I'm pretty happy with it. So we're able to actually visualize any spots that might need a little bit of additional attention. Going to the dense cloud, we can see this is looking pretty good. None of the background is involved, so we don't have any data points kind of floating around and the model isn't distorted. And so from there, we can build a 3D model. And now we're looking at our 3D mesh. And there's a couple spots here at the bottom where it doesn't really look great. You can visualize it a little bit better if we look at the mesh. This area was pretty dark, so Metashape does its best to fill it in and make a solid. Same thing here. We have the stem of the apple, it looks pretty good, but Metashape has a hard time seeing how far down that hole goes because I didn't really get a good photo of it. That's my current photogrammetry workflow. I'm still pretty new to Metashape, so I'm sure I'll be learning more about how to better align the pictures as I get more experience with the software. Once we've exported the file from Metashape, we can bring it into Mesh Mixer to get a full 360 degree view of the texture and the mesh and make sure there's no problem areas before we upload or send the file off. There's a couple of lighting issues here. You can see that the two scans had a little bit of an overlap, and I think that's just because of the lighting that I used. I think that could be solved with a more consistent lighting rig, so that's something I'm gonna focus on in the future. For now, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. So the next steps from here would be to decide what do I wanna do with this model? Do I wanna upload the textured mesh to a program like Sketchfab, or do I wanna 3D print the apple, and am I only concerned with the mesh? You can also upload the file to a site like Sketchfab, which will allow you to visualize the texture as well as the mesh completely in browser without having to download any additional files or software. This is an interesting way to share 3D information. It's new to me, Sketchfab has been around for a while, but it's something I'm excited to play around with and hopefully upload a few more scans to this site. I'm looking forward to making more content with Metashape, so let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like to see. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.